O Lord Jesus Christ, King of Majesty, deliver the souls of all the faithful departed from the hand of hell and from the pit of destruction. Deliver them from the lion's mouth of the grave, devour them not, that they go not down to the realms of darkness. But let Michael, the holy standard bearer, make speed to restore them to the brightness of glory, which thou hast promised in ages past to Abraham and his seed. Sacrifice and prayer do we offer to thee, O Lord. Do thou accept them for the souls departed in whose memory we make this oblation. And grant them, Lord, the pass from death into life, which thou hast promised in ages past to Abraham and his seed. This being our monthly Requiem Mass, we offer prayers before the throne of God for those who have died during the month of August since the founding of our parish, as the, well as those recently dead and those who we wish to offer of our own friends, family, and loved ones. We offer prayers before the throne of God for the repose of the soul of William Armitage, Mary Cochran, Mary Ayers, Eliza Duncan. Lift, lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks unto our Lord God. It is being right so good. It is very deep, right in our bounding duty that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto the Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, everlasting God, through Jesus Christ our Lord, in whom the hope of the blessed resurrection hath shown upon us, that we who are sad by the certainty of dying may be comforted by the promise of immortal life to come. For the life of thy faithful people, O Lord, is not taken away but changed. Though the tabernacle of their earthly habitation is dissolved, thou preparest them a house eternal in the heavens. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee and saying, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord most high. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. All glory be to thee, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father. For that thou, of thy tender mercy, didst give thine only Son, Jesus Christ, to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption, who made there the place one oblation of himself once offered, a full, perfect, and sufficient sacrifice, oblation and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world, and did it institute and in his holy gospel command us to continue a perpetual memory that is precious death and sacrifice until his coming again. For in the night in which he was betrayed, he took bread. 
when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of this. For this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you, and for many, for the remission of sins. Do this as oft as ye shall drink it, in remembrance of me. Now as our Savior Christ hath taught us, we are 